are also very fortunate this day and age. There are so much great camera choices out there in the marketplace. So why did I choose red? Look, at the end of the day I need a workhorse. Something that won't let me down and it has to tick as many of my boxes as possible. What I use day to day has to fall into three major categories. Image quality being number one. It has to be easy to use, on set and all the way through the post-production process. Third is size and weight. I've never been emotionally connected to brand names or logos. I've just jumped between cameras my whole working career. Always in search of something that can deliver a better image in the least time possible. So my reason for using red cameras is purely logical. Speed and performance are the two things that will give me a creative edge. It's as simple as that. For me, image quality is everything. Some say resolution is not important, but for me it is. I shot a lot of 10 by 8 inch film in my photography days, which was probably and still is the ultimate in resolution. Having all that resolution gave me so many options to reframe and resize, with no worries about graying. And yes, the lens had to perform as well, or well, the resolution was wasted. 8K resolution allows me to push in 100, 200% and reframe. It's like having two or three lenses on the same camera during the same take. The more resolution and deep data there is in the raw container, the more dynamic range I have, meaning the more colour grading choices I have, meaning the less noise there is. It's simple schoolboy math. You can't argue the science, even though people love to try. I realised many years ago, back in my film days, that lenses dictate the overall look, density, sharpness, contrast, mixed in with distortion and flares and colour aberrations. You can push and pull all you want in the colouring suite, but you're never going to change a lens's optical look or character. So for me, that's where the look comes from. So if you're after a cinematic look, you have to use a lens that gives you that look. The red sensor will capture all the information and more so, but only you ultimately decide on that final look. This is why I collect so many lenses, and I'm always on the lookout for more. They're all artist brushes at the end of the day. There is no such thing as a bad lens. The camera itself is as easy to use as an iPhone. Actually, it's easier. Actually, you can operate the whole bloody camera on an iPhone. But really, it's as easy as this. Turn the camera on. Frame rate adjust. Color temperature adjust. Focus. Press record. It's seriously that simple. There's something in there for everyone's needs. Anyone that says red cameras are difficult to use obviously haven't used one. It's not rocket science. Overall, red has made my shooting life so much easier. I'm actually getting quite lazy with exposure and colour settings these days, only because I don't live in a colour-baked world anymore. In my 35mm days, I had to be like spot on with everything, but now I'm in a raw world, meaning I can change all that information later. If I'm in a rush trying to capture a performance or a shot that I could lose any second, or have completely disregarded the colour temperature and I'm underexposed a couple of stops, all sorts of things can go down but I don't really worry at all. There is so much latitude in the raw file that I can easily retrieve my desired look. Framing and capturing the perfect shot is more important to me. I do a lot of visual effects work. 3D tracking can be an absolute bastard on noisy shots, and doing chroma key work can be an absolute pain in the ass also, but the 8K resolution makes it so much easier. And honestly, if I couldn't do any of this on a laptop, the deal would be over, but I can. I change my rigs nearly every shoot. One day I'm shooting a feature film, the next one I'm shooting a TV ad, then I may send the camera underwater, then I'm putting it on a tracking arm or in a helicopter or hanging off a drone, and then the next day I'm on some round the world junket shooting handheld out of a backpack. I have no idea what my next job is, but I know I can configure my red camera to adapt to most things I throw at it. Being able to edit, resize, reframe and grade 8K RAW all in real time is an absolute godsend for me, as it gives me so much extra spare time to be more creative. At the end of the day, the camera I choose needs to be a Swiss Army knife. But irrespective of how good my tools may be, content will always be king. But you need great tools to capture great content, and that's why I've chosen red. Have a great day everyone.